How's it going everyone? My name is Forge and welcome back to our brand new video where today we are playing on the 19W09A snapshot. So this brand new snapshot is actually quite laggy in my opinion. But besides that, we got ourselves some brand new no block sounds. So I'm going to go ahead and talk to you guys about the brand new no block sounds. I'm going to show you guys what they sound like. And then we're going to go ahead and talk about the bug fixes and stuff like that. Because this is a very, very small snapshot. So if you guys do happen to enjoy this video, then let me know by leaving a like on it and subscribe for more snapshot videos in the future and let's get started. So here we go with the brand new sounds. So we have ourselves the iron xylophone. So go and listen. We got the cowbell. We got the, the Jurado. I just actually found out how to say that. We got the bit, which is more like an 8-bit sound. Then we got ourselves the banjo. And then we have ourselves a previously unused one, and this one is Ping. Now, it may sound like the original sound, so they're going to listen. It may sound like this, but it's not. So it has more like a louder tune to it. But if you want to go and get yourself the iron xylophone, that's going to be using, of course, the iron block. The cowbell is going to be using soul sand, kind of strange. And then we have ourselves the Dejuridu, which is using a pumpkin. It cannot be a carved pumpkin, the ones with the faces. It has to be a normal pumpkin with the same texture on all the sides. So that's be just like this. It can't be the jack-o'-lantern. It cannot be the other carved pumpkin. Um, but then for the bit, you're going to need to use yourself a block of emerald. So this one is going to be a lot rare to actually find within a survival world. But then, of course, the banjo is going to be using the A-bell. And the playing is using glowstone. So that's pretty much it for all of the brand new sounds. But we're going to go ahead and hop over to Minecraft.net. And we're going to go ahead and read some of the other changes. So here you go with the bug fixes. So stray with a skeleton and pillager with tipped arrows and offhand. No longer shoot tipped arrows. It has not been fixed. Plants don't grow when there is a block above them. The loom pattern selection turns blank when using a banner pattern. Pillagers with multi-shot or piercing crossbows don't have the enchanted effects. Okay, well, I'm glad that's fixed now. Pillagers are extra evil now, especially at the multi-shot, where they can fire three arrows at your face at the same time. Pillagers do not shoot fireworks from their offhand. A skylight does not recalculate when blocks placed in air with the slash fill command. Then the south facing banners are placed differently on pillager outpost. Undead does not burn at sun in bamboo. So I'm actually glad that's been fixed because you would not want to have yourself a zombie that's have a bamboo not burning and stuff like that. I mean that'll just be really, really crazy. Especially a skeleton. Locking a map removes markers. That's a very good one that they fixed. Creeper and skeleton banners can be created without patterns. NPE, I'm not sure what NPE stands for. If anybody knows, then please let me know. But it says NPE taking entity with trader llamas, sheep, wolves, horses, cats, and chickens. Yet again, I have no idea what that is right there. Now, foxes do not get effects from food they eat. Foxes don't attack tropical fish or puffer fish. Uh, now, why would a fox want to attack a puffer fish? It's beyond me. That I guess if you want to get poisoned by the puffer fish, then that's on the fox. If foxes have no AI sleeping and it's thundering, they will wake up. Foxes with fire aspect swords don't make cooked chicken when killing a chicken. So I'm actually glad that we can now make ourselves those chicken farms. Even though the um, the fox is probably going to eat the chicken first. Foxes attempt to sit when swimming. Water buckets won't interact with double slabs. Block of quartz bottom texture is the same as smooth quartz. Foxes are able to harvest berry bushes with mob griefing false. Llamas spit at tamed wolves. Animals do not follow players holding food in creative mode. And the final bug fix is entities are invisible when joining slash teleporting to areas outside of spawn chunks. And there you guys go. That's pretty much it for the brand new changes within the 19W09A snapshot. It was a very small one, more like a little bit of a calm one. Um, but you know what? We are getting towards the ending of 1.14, but we still have ourselves a few extra features like the new villager trading, the new villager AIs, and then we also got ourselves the brand new fletching table and smithing table. But once those features actually come into the game, then I have a feeling that we probably won't be seeing very many more features for this update. Uh, but down below in the comments, please let me know uh, what you think of this brand new snapshot and what you think of the brand new sounds. Because we have ourselves just a lot of awesome things. And I cannot wait to see what kind of music people actually make with these brand new sounds. But if you guys enjoyed this video, then let me know by leaving a like on it and subscribe for more videos in the future. And for now, 
Hope you have a logical day, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.